Hi everyone, welcome back. So let's start exploring the Keras API available in TensorFlow 2. Keras is a high-level API for TensorFlow 2. It has become extremely popular for fast prototyping, for building and training deep learning models, and for research and production. Keras is a very rich API. It supports eager execution, data pipelines, and a lot of other great features. Keras has been available for TensorFlow since 2017, but its use has been extended and further integrated into TensorFlow 2. TensorFlow 2 has embraced Keras as the API of choice for the majority of deep learning development work. It is possible to import Keras as a standalone module with the statement as import Keras. But we will be using Keras from within TensorFlow 2. As I showed you in the previous video, we can import it as tensorflow.keras. But wait, why not we can use other libraries including the core TensorFlow? Why Keras is so important? So let's talk about the features and advantages of this library. The very first thing is that it is designed for both new users and experts alike, offering consistent and simple APIs. It's user-friendly with a simple, consistent interface that is optimized for common use cases. Keras provides excellent feedback for user errors that are easily understood and often followed by helpful advice. Models in Keras are constructed by joining up configurable building blocks, which makes it modular and composable. Even it's easy to extend Keras by writing custom modules and packages to build your model. One of the great features of Keras is its built-in support for multi-GPU data parallelism. Also, Keras models can be turned into TensorFlow estimators and trained on clusters of GPUs on Google Cloud. Keras has a reference implementation maintained as an independent open source project, which is located at keras.io. Although TensorFlow does have a full implementation of Keras in the tf.keras module. But the great thing is that this implementation particularly has TensorFlow specific augmentations, including support for eager execution by default. But what is eager execution by the way? Eager execution means that execution of code is an imperative programming environment rather than a graph based environment which was the only way to work in the initial versions up to 1.5 of TensorFlow. This imperative style allows for intuitive debugging, fast development iteration, and built-in support for distributed training on CPUs, GPUs, and even on Google's TPUs, which stands for Tensor Processing Units. The TensorFlow implementation of Keras also has support for tf.data distribution strategies, exporting models, which can be deployed on mobile and embedded devices by utilizing the TensorFlow Lite, and feature columns for representing and classifying structured data. That's it for now. In the next video, we will try to implement a basic model using Keras by generating a random dataset using NumPy. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the content, thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any fantastic video in the future. Thanks for watching.